Hey, hello, how are you? Welcome to another edition of the Slightly Warped Podcast. I'm Rick. That's Big Show. Show, how you doing, man? I'm good, sir. How are you? I'm doing good. I feel a little bit well rested. You know, we had the extra day off with the holiday. Uh, well, some of us, some of you out there probably had to work on Labor Day. Uh, I get that. I've done that many times myself, especially back when I worked in retail, uh, which, you know, boggles my mind. You would think that Labor Day, those of us in the workforce everywhere wouldn't have to work, but what do I know? Right. Service industry, you, you're still working. Yep. So, um, big things happening this week. The biggest the one we've been waiting for for several months, the National Football League kicks back off. Finally. Yes, it does. Yes. Baseball wasn't doing it for me. The NBA was, man. Eh. Um, matter of fact, are you, a Ro- are you a Royals fan? I do like those Royals, and they are making moves. Mm-hmm. I like what they're doing. Yeah. They'll, uh, they'll, they should be in the playoffs. So that'd be and nice. Since we're talking about the NFL, are there any surprises that you've seen or heard so far in the off season? I mean, I haven't really given, given that whole bunch of thought, like define surprises. Like, um, well, I'm going to go to the thing that me, you and Kevin talked about the other day, uh, off all right. the Josh Jacobs okay. situation. He came out and said, Oh, that yeah, the yeah, chiefs yeah. tried to recruit him in the off season. Yes. Okay, I get that. Um, Because we knew the Chiefs were looking for another running back. I I get that. You know, just because you're the Super Bowl champ doesn't mean you don't want to get continue to get stronger. And Josh Jacob is a good back. He's a very good back, proven. Uh, We didn't have the cash to pay him. He did end up going to Green Bay. Um, What he said, though, for people that don't know, and I'm paraphrasing, he wouldn't play for the enemy, the rival team, no matter what. I I respect that kind of loyalty, but also I understand that it's a business. You guys used to have Rich Gannon. We got him. We used to have Marcus Allen. You got him. It, to me, everybody's loyal to a dollar. We used to have Albert Lewis. You got Albert Lewis. Yeah. I mean, the we, list. We used to have famous. Harvey Williams. You had Harvey. We got Williams. Harvey Williams. Yeah. So, right. Yeah. The, um. At the end of the day, I myself, I'm a fan of the team. So, like I said, I respect his move. I don't know how truthful he was about that because I, yeah, I don't. Until he said it. I didn't hear any reports about it. I think it was more for social media clicks you know why he said that i really think it boiled down to the chiefs weren't going to pay him what the packers were going to pay him yeah and i get that i mean that's that's what it boiled down to so potato potato good luck you know maybe we'll see each other in the in the big game we'll get to that toward the end because i i don't believe that uh i really don't believe that green bay is going to be there I, I got another NFC team that I don't either. I don't either, but I'm just saying maybe you never know. Yeah. Yeah. So we record on a Tuesday. You guys see this mm-hmm. on a Thursday. So let's just pretend this is Thursday right now. The chiefs are the opening game in the NFL season. They're hosting the Baltimore Ravens. Mm-hmm. Bro. Here's my logic on this. Baltimore couldn't beat them when they had home field. They not going to beat them opening night. And you're not going to catch the Chiefs slipping two opening nights in a row. I know Detroit came in there and did did a number on them, shocked everybody. That was before we thought Detroit would be any good, too. That's a whole nother thing. The Ravens aren't that team. I mean, I I I'm I don't think the Ravens are going to beat the Chiefs, but they do match up well. I mean, their defense is really good. The the things that I think that are in um, the negative side for the Ravens is new offensive coordinator, new defensive coordinator. Um, you know, those things are going to jail. We did lose our 
our our main playmaker on defense, Legarius Sneed, <clears throat> who is the reason why we beat the Ravens in that game. Um, so you know, and and they have uh, King Henry now. So you know, they they have some options in the running game that that's going to prove to be a little bit uh, difficult for any team. So I think it's going to be a very close game. Um, but I, 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 I suspect that the Chiefs should pull it off. Yeah. I, I like the way you said it, though. Um, they have to gel. If this game was a week seven, week nine matchup somewhere in there, I would tip the scales to Baltimore. It, I probably wouldn't because the Chiefs would be gelled too. Fair enough. Fair enough. But I, you know, I just can't, I, I, I can't see the Ravens going in in week one. I mean, even when, I'm, I mean, yeah, you I mean, know, the, anything happened. Yeah. People back in 17 didn't think the Chiefs were going to go into New England in the opening week and, and, and stomp a mud hole in their ass. And we did. So anything sure. can happen. And it's not like that if you lose you, the first game of the year, you're, you can't win the Super Bowl. So, but I mean, this is, this matchup, I'm surprised is number one. Um, I actually thought, that we would end up playing the Texans for the first game uh, because of C.J. Stroud. Uh, but, you know, that game is later on in the year. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's going to be fun. and It's going to be fun. I mean, if I'm kind of – and this is one of the weird years for me. I'm kind of ho-hum about the NFL season this year. You know, like I'm ready for it, but, you know – it's just different for me for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just my life's in a different spot. I, I get that. Um, also in the AFC West, the Broncos are going into Seattle and they're opening up against the Seahawks. Man, I want to give this one to the Broncos because I think they are trending upwards. And I don't know what you're going to get with Seattle. Don't they have a new coach, a new system, all that good stuff? Yeah, they have a new coach, new system. Um, I mean, but, you know, they have a new quarterback in, in Bo Nix with Denver. It's in Seattle. I, I mean, I'm probably picked the Broncos to win as well because of Sean Payton. Yeah. Um, man, I'm on the edge on this. I think I'm still going to go with the Seahawks. Because I, you just don't know what you're going to get with Bo Nix yet. I know he he showed lots of flashes in the preseason, but this is for real now. He's going to have, you know, the number one defense, not not the number one defense in the league, but the number ones, the starters coming at him, play in and play Bo out the entire game. I'm, I mean, this early take, you know, and this is, could be really bad, but I don't think so. Bo Nix is going to be more of a Drew Brees type quarterback in his career if he stays with Sean Payton. He has the same intangibles. He's he he lit it up in Oregon. Um, I believe he also transferred from Oklahoma or Alabama, one of those because he wasn't getting the playing time. Uh, but he is he's the real deal. So he's going to he, maybe not this year, but Denver will give. Kansas City runs for its money for the division crown year in, year out. If Bo Nix pans out like I think he's going to. All right. Staying in the division, we got two more teams that just happened to play each other opening day. Uh, we got our home opener. Oh, really? Yes, we have our home opener in California because we get two home openers every year. Uh, this one's against the Chargers. And, yeah. I'm not being that guy. I'm being a football guy when I'm telling you the Raiders are going in there and they are winning that game. Uh, I haven't seen anything in the offseason to make me believe that Los Angeles got better. Mm. Harbaugh, that's all I have to say. He's a game changer. And you guys do not have a quarterback. We didn't have a quarterback when we beat him last year. Yeah, but that's why the Chargers went a whole different route coaching staff-wise. Yeah. 
Um, and, and take nothing away I, from there Jim are Harbaugh. Some, there if are... we hadn't hired AP, Harbaugh should have been the logical choice in Vegas. True, but AP will be fired by the end of the year. He, I, he's I not going to so. last. I think he's not gonna I think he's going to go into next year. He's not going to be that. Uh, uh, for example, if if there wasn't pressure on Mark Davis last year to get rid of McDaniel's, he'd have finished out the season. So I'm sure no matter what, AP is oh. going to finish out the season. Oh no, I didn't say he was going to get fired before the end of the year. Oh okay. <laughs> I said he's going to get fired at the end of the year. This will I don't think he's going to last long. Uh unless unless one of your two quarterbacks, Minshew or uh, you know what's his name, Dennis the Menace, whoever is the guy behind him. Aiden Aiden O'Connell. Hey, yeah, him. Yeah, if one of them actually shows something that they've never shown before in their careers, um you guys are going to be fourth place in the division. Well, you know what? I don't mind people saying that because every year they pick us to finish fourth place. So, hey. I picked you to be second last year and in the playoffs. Well, we got half of that right, and we were one more win away from sneaking in the playoffs. If we had fired McDaniel's just two weeks earlier, maybe. Um, I mean, the Chargers. I will say did this get about Minshew. I'll say the this wide about receiver. Minshew mm -hmm. almost took the Colts to the playoffs last year. And they weren't near as good a team. So if he could, I don't need him. I don't need him to be CJ Stroud. I need him to, you know, manage the game and when needed, use his legs. That's just me. If, if I could shake you right now, I would. So you, <laughs> so you could wake up from whatever dream you're dreaming. Uh, what I was going to say about the Chargers is, yes, I think they got weaker in the wide receiver department because mm -hmm. I think two of their starters left, right? Keenan Allen went to Chicago. Yes. And I want to say Mike Williams went somewhere, didn't he? I believe he did. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if they – And you're going to see a difference in their attack. They're going to move from a running – I mean, from a passing game to a running game. Because that's what Harbaugh does best. And their now, games Austin are going to be... Is still there? No, he went to Washington. He went to... Okay. Um, I'm trying to think who is uh, the Chargers um, running back. I'm going to find out real quick. Now, if that's the case and they go more run heavy and they've got a big bruising back, that is the Raiders' defensive weakness. You can run on them. And that would cause yeah, a it... long day. Any any team is going to – I mean, <clears throat> anybody that they put on there – oh, yeah, they got J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards, yes. Oh, so yeah. – um, The bowling ball, Gus Edwards. They – that's what Harbaugh's team is. Go back when he coached 49ers. Mm -hmm. They're a road running team. When he quarterbacked the Colts way back in the day, they Captain were a running comeback. team. Yeah. When he went to Michigan, running team. You know, uh, so I'm just looking here. Their wide receivers are DJ Shark, Joshua Palmer, Lad McConkey, and Darius Davis. So nobody, yeah, you they're know, running, they're running all day, but you know, but they have uh, old time Chiefs sons, uh, Lyman sons, Joe Alt was mm -hmm. their number one choice, and then. Um, I forget who their second one is, but yeah, they're going to be a running team. Um, and defensively, they're going to be pretty decent. I think I'm looking to see, uh, do, 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 do. yeah, I mean, their defense is still pretty stacked. Yeah. What scares me is their pride got hurt that last time we played them. And I, I think they, they're going to remember that. Because yeah, nobody wants you know, to get 60 points hung on them. No, but I, you know, and I, I think that Harbaugh is going to change the culture there. And yeah. I think this will be one of the time when people pick the Chargers, they'll actually live up to their hype versus the last few years where everybody picked them to give Chiefs the run for the money and, and they fell on their face. 
things that I do like about the Raiders, obviously, is their defense. I think their defense is is pretty good. But that tight end that y'all drafted, Brock Bowers from Georgia, he's a uh, he he is going to make differences once you guys get a quarterback okay because mm-hmm. yeah kelsey kelsey was great with uh alex smith with alex smith he never yeah. played with matt castle i'm sorry with i'm alex going back smith. too far you've had mahomes starting so long i forgot who was before him we've only had mahomes for seven years this is his that was seven years too long for me uh well he's got another 12 probably <laughs> and that's um, scary uh but once you guys actually get a quarterback, um, I think he's gonna he's gonna be to you guys what Kelsey is to us. Uh, yeah. He's gonna make he's gonna make the defense have to change some things and know where he's at. Now I will say with this. that with that okay. being said, I am going to pick the Chargers to win this game just because it's their home opener. Okay, it, it, it's actually our home opener. We 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 own them in la no you're you're in when vegas we split, it's like the chiefs when we split we split on the other team's home turf for whatever reason i don't understand that um but you mentioned changing the culture i believe that ap has changed the culture uh for the raiders um i'm not saying that we're gonna win you know eight nine ten games but i am saying even the games we lose those teams are going to be in a fight and, and and that's what we need. We 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 can't I, be the doormat anymore. I think he changed the culture last year. And it's easy to change a culture when everybody hated the old one. So now you're a whole off season under this particular regime. Let's see how the team reacts when the going gets tough. Because it's going to get tough. And you guys do not have the pieces on the board to make a formidable run for the playoffs. You just don't. I agree. Yeah, you're going to you're gonna, you're gonna win some games you shouldn't, but you're going to lose some games that you shouldn't. Yeah. And it's all going to be because of players. And – the key is the is the is the signal caller. You, you guys, the two that you have on there are backups. When you have two backups being starters on a team, it's not going to work out. Agreed. Just just I- ask just ask Pittsburgh when they're dealing with Russ Wilson and Justin Fields. Yeah, that's a mess going on there. Speaking of them, uh, real quick, I'm just going to run through the rest of the slate in the NFL. And I just want to hear which team you think is going to win. Uh, right. Friday, Packers and Eagles. I'm I'm going with the Eagles. I'm going with Packers. This game is in Brazil. That is true. Um, Sunday begins the Sunday slate. Those Steelers that you mentioned are playing the Falcons. I'm going with the Falcons. Me as well. Cardinals at the Bills. I'm going with the Bills. This actually is going to be a tougher matchup than people uh, think. I'm going with the Cardinals. Upset. Mm, okay. Titans at the Bears. I'm going with the Bears. Bears all day. Bears are going to put the whooping on them. Okay. Patriots at the Bengals. I'm going with the Bengals. Same. Texans at the Colts. I am going with the Texans. Same. Jaguars at the Dolphins. I'm going with the Dolphins. Yeah. I mean, this is the battle for Florida. Um, It's going to be a lot closer than people think, but I'm going with the Dolphins. Yeah, Dolphins. Uh, The Panthers at the Saints. I'm going with the Saints. Why? Why? That game... Just because they're at home? Yeah. That game is two bad teams. One is progressively getting bad, and one of them just can't get out of the cellar. The one that's progressively getting bad is just good enough to win the game. I'm going to go with Panthers. Ooh, okay. Uh, Vikings at the Giants. I'm going with the Vikings. 
The Vikings don't have a quarterback either. But they still have Justin Jefferson. Yeah, but if their quarterback's on his ass, he ain't never getting the ball. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but the Giants don't have a quarterback either. Unless you want to count Daniel is, Jones as a quarterback. Well, he, his nickname is Danny Dimes. Uh, man, that's a toss-up to me, but I'll go with Vikings. Um, Cowboys at the Browns. I'm going with the Cowboys. The Browns' defense is tough. I'm going to go with the Browns. I thought about the Browns, but the, that Cowboys' defense is no punk either. And, and I yeah, think but you're, Dak, you're playing in Cleveland. I think Dak is going to start off hot because he's got something to play for. Uh, yeah, well, I, I mean, be yeah, I'm, Cleveland wins. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm picking the, I'm picking the Browns. Commanders at the Buccaneers. I'm going with the Bucks. I'm going to go with the Commanders. Jalen, uh, Jalen Daniels from LSU, the new quarterback for Washington. Austin Eckler, Terry McLaurin. Yeah. I mean, who the Buccaneers have besides Mike Evans? Uh, I forget the other guy's name. So that exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Sunday night, Rams at the Lions. I'm going with the Lions. The Lions are that other team that has something to prove because they know they should have been in the Super Bowl last year. There is no, well, the Niners did this and that. No, the Rams had that game and blew it. You mean the Lions had the game and blew it? Yeah, the Lions had that game and blew it. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to go with Detroit. And then Monday night, Aaron Rodgers will try to play another first quarter game and, you know, get out without an injury. He plays the 49ers. 49ers are winning that game. Man, that one's tough because the Jets uh, also are loaded on both sides of the ball. I love the Jets' defense, but I am not sold on the offense. They're loaded, man. Offensive line, wide receivers. But do they have the horses to keep up with the Niners' offense? But it might need the Niners needs to keep up with them. That's the mm. key. Mm -hmm. it, it might be the other way. Now, my thing is, I'm picking the Niners because it's at home, but I think this is going to be a closer game than people are giving it credit. And I believe Aaron Rodgers has something to prove. Yeah, he does. Now, granted, now granted, his last three, four years that he played, he played like shit. Uh, but I think the Jets are going to make some noise. They're just not in this game. So, yeah, 49ers. All right, gang, that's our NFL slate for this week. Check back with us next week to see how we did on these picks. And, of course, we're going to be picking next week's picks. I, I want to make a special announcement, two special announcements, Big Show. Uh, Okie dokie. First one, you know. We're going to be on Facebook Live next week because next week is our 200th show. 200. Oh, snap. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe I've been doing this for 200, 200 shows. I'm getting old. How um, many have I been on? Probably, I mean, I, I, I want to say close to half of them. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back and look at that. I would say, yeah. You were, you were number one something, so it was probably close. Um. We're, we're going to be talking about uh, fitness and longevity during that show. And I'm, I'm going to have a bunch of you guys weigh in on that. But the reason why I tell you about that in advance now, for those of you who are familiar with the face group book change, we have a contest and it will run September 15th through October 15th. It's going to be 30 days. It was originally going to be 60. It's going to be 30 days. But here's what here's what we're going to be doing. For five days a week, minimum five days a week, you must do two activities 
don't care what it is, log it, report it on the, on the channel. Everybody that does that, you're not going against anybody but yourself, but everybody that does that is going to be entered into a drawing. And next week, I will tell you what those prizes are. There's going to be three, by the way. Of all the things that you can do on there, don't think that you just have to be a runner or weightlifter. You can run. Walking is your thing. You can walk, biking, weights, calisthenics, yoga, stretching, cardio. I don't care what it is that you do. Just do something. It's the get moving challenge. That's what I want to see people doing. Get moving. And you guys don't realize it, but when, when you go on there and you post that you've done something that motivates me i'm sure that motivates other people and you know it, it gets us moving as well and it, it just creates an effect and an air of accountability wouldn't you say big show i agree now go over that again so it's it's two activities per day or two activities in that five-day period Two activities per day. Okay. Yeah. And if you walk twice a day, that's still two. They don't have to be different, but it could be anything. You know, I just I just want to see people get moving. Don't think that you got to work out for four hours a day, twice a day, or anything like that. You go for 20 minutes, a 20-minute walk. That's an activity. Um, gotcha. If you do 20 minutes of yoga, that's an activity. If you do card cardio, I mean, if you if you do twenty five um, push ups, that's an activity. Yes. Um, so it's just doing something, and they don't have to be done at any specific time of day. As long as they're done during the day, you might do them back to back. You might do one in the morning, one in the evening. Up to you. This is totally all up to you. Do your thing your way and post it it's all you got to do and i will go out and say this that myself and you are not allowed to win no i i can't i and if, same if, here if you want if you if that's up to you if if you want no, I i'm part of the, i'm part of the admin crew so no okay yeah but it's i know fair. i i can't i can't win it i do it every day so you know, I'm up there every day. So you guys see what I do. Um, and just to my, this is, so just a little testimony of myself. Um, mm -hmm. When I started, I was 400 pounds. Okay. I am down to 329 pounds. That's what's up. That's okay. what's up. I wore a size 48 in the waist. I'm down to 42. Nice. Look at that. That's, and the, that's it's the motivation right from seeing these guys on here daily that got me working. So hopefully that fire will catch with someone else. Oh, I'm sure it will. Um, you know, I got back into my running and lo and behold, next Sunday I'll be uh, running the Plaza 10K. It won't be fast. <laughs> but i'll do it doesn't matter i'm actually doing the virtual 5k for the chiefs tomorrow nice. morning on my walk i'm doing that and Man. then if, if uh, you the ever get a chance to do it actual at I've, the stadium i've did the one at arrowhead yeah i've okay, done that so a few years ago yeah that was great i've done it three times and i love finishing on that 50 yard line i love yeah you know, that that's cool i'm not a chiefs fan but the facility is great yeah, you get to run through the stadium, basically, and you run out yeah. through the tunnel at the very end. And then afterwards, you get to tour the locker room and all that good stuff, So which is yeah. kind of cool. Um, but, no, I'm doing the virtual one tomorrow. Um, and then at the end of the month, uh, every September, there is a ovarian cancer 5K. And I started doing that uh, in remembrance of my mother who passed in 2022. So that's my next one on the 29th of this month. Excellent. Excellent. Keep up the good work, man. Yes, hey, sir. I know we only got a handful of minutes left, but we did promise everybody that we would, you know, give our thoughts on uh, season five of Game of Thrones as we, you know, look back through that show. Um, I just want to talk about uh, 
you know, five and six are one of my favorite seasons. And and, and the reason why, if I'm correct, it was the uh, it was the point where Arya was, you know, her arc was getting stronger. And I believe in season five for several episodes, she was blinded. Um, and it was part of the penalty for, you know, whatever, when she was uh, supposed to be doing work for the leader of the mini face gang. I can't remember their name. But um, you could see that she was learning things. And and I don't want to say she got bullied by that other chick, but, uh, well, she got bullied by the other chick. And she learned how to handle herself in that. that. That's one of the things that I take away from season five. What do you take away from it? Season five was... Uh one of my well it was good in some rush but it was one of my least favorite seasons um although it did set up a lot of, of things i mean mm-hmm. you know tywin's dead um i believe at the end of season five that's when Jon snow gets killed by the by the people in the wall they they stab that's him right, right? That's right. Or, was, or was that the end of last last season i thought it was five uh, actually, have, no. I'll, I think maybe I think maybe he gets resurrected at the end of it because this is yeah yeah. So he died at the end of season four, resurrected in season five, because that's when Brienne kills Stannis outside of the the wall area. So that all happened. Uh, you know, Sansa got married to to Bolton. Uh, Reek helps her tries tries to help her uh, escape. They get caught. Uh, let's see. Jamie Lannister went to Doran with uh, uh, what's his nuts, Braun, yeah. uh, to get uh, his daughter back, Marcella, who ends up dying by poison from uh, Oberyn's sister, who Uh-oh, died in the left. in the last season already. Really? Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, and then Tywin's on the run to go see Daenerys. So. Next week, see you. Love you. Bye. Peace. Chicken grease. All love that each good other. Stuff. Hey, man. Good night, everybody.